Well, hey, Sagittarians. How about a birthday reading from your metal dog? I've slowed down on my channel, but feeling moved to find out what's going on with you people. So <clears throat> I'm going to give you a little Sagittarius birthday advice here. And we're going to ask some questions for your year ahead or the near future. And we'll begin with a card, an overall card from the Four Hawks of Tarot. Wants to talk to you about what this reading is about. And then we'll have some more cards and some clarification. So come along. All right. Number one, we are looking at very beautiful energy, a three of water. So we have a card about friendship, about reconciliation. It's an water is your feelings and we've got these three beautiful mermaids having a beautiful time okay that sounds nice all right what's going on underneath oh we got a little bit of resistance underneath here so this could be some of the underlying energy i i love this seven of fire this is a little fairy with all of these little beasties nibbling at her toes Seven of Fire or Seven of Wands is about having integrity, right? You can see how this fairy has a lot of integrity amidst all of these other pulls. Um, and sometimes this is a card that comes, well, it would come after a Six of Fire, which is about victory. And so the story in the tarot is that once you've achieved victory, then other people begin to want what you have and to compete with you. Um, and then you just stand here like this fairy in your power. So if we're looking at these together, you can see friendship and your, your community. And then maybe there's some of this feeling going on within that community. So um, we'll look further and uh, maybe more will come up about that. We're going to now switch to the Muse Tarot here. And I'm going to give you my traditional advice reading we'll ask <clears throat> i seem to have a husky voice i hope you don't mind <laughs> i'm gonna ask <clears throat> i'll clear my throat what you need to release perhaps something that you finished with or something that you're obsessing over something like that what you want to embrace now i'm gonna ask a question about what's happening in the stars i happen to know that your sun sign being in Sagittarius. We also have Saturn square to the sun and then soon to Mars, who will also be entering Sagittarius. And that square can be a difficult energy, although in Pisces, Saturn is really spiritual. So if we think about Saturn as um, a task master and then goes into a water sign, right? Because this is that your emotional realm. Uh, we, we get this kind of Piscean, spiritual, sensitive, not super motivated energy. And so, and so that can be kind of interesting, but it could also feel like some tension. So we'll just ask about that. And then we'll ask what the tarot wants you to know, but which is that which is hidden from you in the future. And I'll remind you as we go along what, I'm, what all this is here. Okay. Put in the deck. First of all, what should Sagittarius release? Hmm. We get a really good card to release. <clears throat> the Seven of Voices. This is about dishonesty, uh, theft, disempowering thoughts. Voices or the suit of swords or air in the tarot. This is your mind. Or it can be somebody in your life who is a seven of swords. Um, I had a person in my life for quite a while and the whole time she was in my life, I would get this card. And I, I learned a lot from this card coming up and, um, and then I learned I needed to get out of the relationship. So you could be releasing somebody that this card represents, someone who's dishonest or um, someone who perhaps disempowers you or makes you feel up in your head about yourself. Um, or it could be your own behavior if you're being dishonest in some way. I never think of Sagittarians as dishonest people. Um, you're such a heart forth 
centaur type people. That's how I think of you. Uh, but we can all get into disempowering thoughts, dishonesty, and that kind of soul theft that, that can come through that kind of behavior. So we'll clarify and find out more, but that is a good release. So to embrace here, oh, beautiful. The night of inspiration. This is, I think this is your card here, Sagittarius. And it's why I picked this deck. It has these beautiful horses. And you may know this. So pardon me if I'm repetitive or telling you things you know, but the image of the centaur is the image of the Sagittarian. And, and so that means that you are part horse, part animal, and you have this beautiful fiery spirit and heart. And we can see that coming here. So embrace really your true nature. Um, and that's very much, this would be the opposite of embracing your, your true nature. So, <clears throat> So that's really beautiful, and we will again clarify. Now, what would we like to learn from what's happening here in the sky? Ooh, we have awakening, some really beautiful opportunity here in this troubling aspect, the square between the sun and Saturn, the square between you and Pisces. Awakening. It is a card of ascension. It is judgment in, in your traditional tarot deck. Um, and you can see from the image that there is some light coming right into your heart chakra here, right into your heart. Um, so listen to this. If you're feeling any challenge or difficulty, open yourself up to it. It feels like there is an opportunity to rise to the next challenge. And at... at at number 20, you are almost through a really major cycle. And indeed, that's true of Saturn being in Pisces. Is Pisces as the last sign? So we're going to see, like, we're, we're cleansing or cleaning out all of the, the junk and learning everything that we can from this cycle. Um, Saturn is a big one in our lives. If you're around age 28, 30, you might be in a Saturn return. Um, you can read more about that, but it's a challenging time where you, you kind of grow up and begin to um, work at the next level. And so that's what I see here in this this awakening is, is some um, really positive transformation here possible. So what the tarot wants you to know, but which is hidden from you, something very practical, new job, new home, you get an ace of materials. This is the ace of pentacles, earth energy. It's very much in your real world. You can't see it yet. It's a new beginning. Uh, we will clarify that. And finally, we will ask, what is the future for Sagittarius? More water, Muse of emotions. It's, this deck has a lot of mirroring imagery. And um, so this is a king. And the, the king of water, or the king of cups. The muse of emotions is about emotional maturity and emotional intelligence. It's also very much about privacy. The king has uh, this emotional intelligence but unlike the queen, who is quite open with her feelings, the muse or the king of emotions um, has a kingdom to care for. And so it can be quite private. Uh, this could also be somebody coming into your life in the future. Uh, we will see. Um, if I were to look at this story here on the table of this baseline reading, um, under this sort of question about having integrity within your relationships, what I really see is that there's this seven of voices. It's the absolute lack of integrity, either yours or somebody in your in your your circle of friends, um, and that we see you this night of inspiration, being true to yourself, and really like on the table you're riding away. From this you can see this is a dilemma of who am I I've got all these masks um, it's about going through a portal but it's, it's a sense of like who am I and the and your answer is run away from this um, this these disempowering thoughts or this person 
who uh, makes me feel like shit, basically, um, and go off and be you, all right? We can see that you are achieving some form of awakening here. So what is difficult uh, in, in this card of awakening will move you to um, a new understanding, to ascension, as if we kind of think about this as uh, going up a ladder. Um, and then we see that there is something really practical and real. This Ace of Material is a new beginning. Um, and then in the future, we see that you've learned from this process. This is a transformative process of showing up with integrity within your friendships and relationships, being yourself, uh, and letting what's difficult transform you. And as you go forward, you have a new beginning. And we do see you in the future in this muse of emotions, intelligent emotionally, having really explored your deep emotional depths, uh, but also kind of using this to support and hear other people, perhaps more than to center and talk about yourself. Underlying here we have, um, yes, I, I see this. So two cards. So, so one is another muse, which is the muse of Earth. This is very much about moving forward into um, a new beautiful life, full of security and abundance. Uh, and, and this is, we add to this with the Wheel of Fortune. So the Wheel of Fortune will turn, in my readings, it tends to turn in your favor. Um, but there's change. And it is on divine time. It may be something that you have been waiting for. It, it, the Ace of Materials suggests this. Awakening suggests change. Uh, so be prepared for change and a new beginning. And that you're going to learn something from this. So let's, let's clarify. If, if you want to know more, I will clarify with this beautiful Crow Tarot. It's actually by the same artist as the Four Hoxa deck, the fairies that I, I began with. Okay. I don't know. When I first started watching tarot readers on YouTube, I had no idea what the tarot was or what it did. And I really learned by watching. And I began to um, feel connected to different decks. I have a lot of decks. Like, if you look behind me, there's like... I just really bought in and bought a lot of really beautiful decks. So yeah, I always want to know what they are. So I tell you. Okay, let's start with clarification. You are releasing the Seven of Voices. So I have felt that it is somebody in your life, but it could be you, your behavior. So let's see. We get a King of Swords, Air Sign. Very mature energy and intellectual intelligence. You can see this is actually the symbol of Saturn here, the planet I was talking about. Uh, so let's keep, let's, I'm going to pull three cards and try to guess what they are. Oh, look, there is a victory. So the Six of Wands, remember it's followed by the, um, I told you this was. Well, that's the card that follows. So yeah, there's victory. And thirdly, justice. Ooh, okay. Some Libra energy. So it could have been something that happened back in October. Um, late September, October. But when we when I look here, I can see that you have actually learned from the Seven of Voices situation. Like, you have achieved the King of Swords. Um, and I always think of the King of Swords as an intellectual, knows how to use the truth, has used the truth in some ways that were quite, you know, they can be, the truth can hurt, right? Um, and so the King of Swords learns, I don't want to hurt people with the truth. I'm going to sort of refer to my heart before I act, before I speak the truth. Um, I always think of kings being reticent, they, uh, right? We have this this muse of emotions here, right? So we so we want to make sure that we um, 
that we're wise when we when we speak. And the King of Swords is 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 about wisdom, uh, but also I think wisdom connects to your heart, and that's how I read this as your tarot reader. And when the cards speak through me, um, that's what what comes out for me. So we see that you have learned, um, but there is something of, that you have done that has uh, you've received recognition for. And sometimes somebody can feel jealous about that and try to tear that down. That's this feeling I have outside of you, that there's this foxy character who is uh, undermining you. Um, and they're trying to use, they might seem to be speaking the truth, um, but I wouldn't trust them because the seven of voices is all about a person who lies um, and tells you things that disempower you. So you've learned discernment, and so you should use that here. And it, there's some way that you're victorious, that you're feeling good about yourself. And um, so you can, we, how do we bring justice into this? You can expect that whoever this liar is, you don't have to worry about it. They will receive justice. You're not, you don't have to spend your energy proving that they're wrong and how they're wrong and working through them, fighting with them over that. That can be a trap. Right. I felt that like stuck because this person needs to know how they're talking to me and how they're wrong and who I am and the truth about me. So leave justice to the world, to the universe, to whatever, their higher power. <laughs> and um, and you're free to go on and leave this liar thief of peace uh, behind. So justice will be there for them. So use your discernment. Um, they are trying to tear at your victory and you know so this is could be somebody in your friend group sag um, if you're the person doing the tearing down of somebody who's victorious that would also be a message for you, you can always reverse relationships here um yeah this person this seven of voices can be quite compelling quite like manipulative so be careful of somebody that makes you feel small all right instead be your absolute beautiful passionate fiery self be free uh, you have a right to this freedom my friend okay so here's your night of inspiration what else about this can Sagittarians embrace I don't usually split the deck when I clarify, but I did that time. Okay, so number one. Ah, this is you at work, putting your head down. New skill, new job, not necessarily new, but it's a place where you're really becoming a master of your craft in some way. You're really working hard in, in a really disciplined way. Again, there's that influence of Saturn square with you and Sag. Woo, more you energy, king of wands. This is more fire. A very powerful, lion-hearted energy. This is king of wands, often a, um, a Leo energy, but it's just fire. And the king of wands is alpha. And I just want to point out, you've got three kings on the table. You've got the king of cups, the king of pentacles, and now the king of wands on the table. So... There's something here about mastery, about knowing who you are and being the leader of your life. And I love it. I love seeing this for you, Sagittarius. And then we get a four of wands. So this is about friendship, about soulmate connection, about the people that you can be your authentic self with. Go towards that. You may be confronting another kind of alpha energy. Um, the, mark, the marker for you, Sagittarius, when you look at your friendships and you think, well, how does this reading relate to my relationships? It could be your um, romantic relationship, could be your friends, family, work, any, any community that you're in. There appears to be some kind of um, energy that's sort of disempowering. They're lying to you. They're not telling the truth. There's some alpha energy. Is that yours, your fire? Or is it another kind of seeming alpha person at work? Um, but talking to you about your work, 
Um, so the mark that you want to look for, who do I listen to? Do I feel good? That's what this is about. Do I get to be my authentic self here? You see the night of inspiration, this beautiful horse. This is you being you. This is what the cards are saying. It's great advice in general, be yourself. But this is extra emphasizing to you. If you're confused at all, ask, do I feel like my best self here? And if the answer is no, go away from that. And when the answer is yes, go towards that. Okay. Now, we see you're learning here, right? This is not easy, but it is making you better. So let's see about what Saturn, what the stars want to add to this reading. Okay, so um, we get a nine of wands. So there is struggle. I've been feeling that more fire energy, the wands. And a nine of wands, you've been working hard, you've been exerting your will, and what you can know is like you're almost there. That's definitely clear in this reading. There is something that is over. This is a Ten of Swords. It hurts. But you can see this bird is stabbed ten times. Very painful. It's like the only thing good about a Ten of Wands is it's over, right? You've made it. Um, the sun is going to rise. There will be a new day. And um, so I do see your struggle. I see whatever I've been describing for you has been keeping you up at night, perhaps. has been hurting your heart. It's been torturing your mind. You're physically, mentally exhausted. But the card here, this awakening card says, this, oops, this is difficult, but you are learning here. So hang in there, my friend. There is your fire, a new beginning, an ace of wands, a new inspiration, beautiful freedom here. And I see that. I see that for you in this reading. So, yeah, and this is, so if the Ten of Swords, it's like it's dead, it's over, accept that. This is the new beginning. And it's passionate, it's creative, it's beautiful. It can be even like full of desire. So the Wands, this night of inspiration, it's like sexy, alpha, fire, you can manifest. Very creative energy here. So we see you uh, being helped through struggle and heartache, pain, intellectual suffering, um, physical suffering, exhaustion, that this is bringing you someplace that you want to go. We see another beginning here. This is what the tarot wants you to know. It's real. So let's find out more about that. This is hidden from you. Okay, death. <laughs> Card of Scorpio. After death, you rise. You can see that Raven has died and is now rising. So this is transformation. When something is over, like that Ten of Swords told us, something is over. You rise from those flames like a phoenix. I am a Scorpio. This is my card. You can trust me. It's, um, it is very natural to... to and, and for Scorpio, for fixed signs... We need it to be as clear-cut as a Ten of Swords and death. And um, you, Sads, are a little more comfortable with change and of being two things at once because you're a mutable sign, right? You're half horse and half human. You're comfortable with being in two places at the same time. Um, but if there's a place that is disempowering, that seven of voices, that fox, um, that person that wears a mask, makes you feel confused, you are free to let go of that, and that's what this death card tells you. Um, what else? Wow. There is a two of cups here. This is a soulmate connection. It's not the first soulmate connection you got here, All right? Four of wands, two of cups. This is um, also justice, and the two of cups are have a relationship here as well. It's about mirroring. You can see the two ravens. You can see the heart. It's about filling each other's cups up. We also have in this, the caduceus represents healing. There's that lion energy that we saw in the king of wands here. So what, this is really great. Um, 
evidence here that you rise from this experience. It's been painful. It's right kept you up, um, but you don't you don't end up alone here. And there is a, a real beginning. It's a soul connection, and it's related to um, justice. Right. One more card here to clarify. <laughs> the devil. That is interesting. Okay, so the devil relates to your seven of voices. The devil is, you got death and the devil, pretty scary, um, but don't worry, right? Just as death is about transformation, so is the devil. And the devil can be, again, you, you're, there's some kind of addiction or codependence, disempowering thoughts. Um, there's a, there's a, intellectual framework it can be like an addiction it can feel so compelling that you can't let go of it um the devil can also be desire there's a lot of wands and fire in you sagittarius but the devil appearing here i actually want to look at what's on the bottom the lovers there's a lot of big cards here the lovers can be a choice That's what I feel here, is I feel that you're, what's, what the tarot wants you to know, but what you can't see right now is there is a new real beginning, but it's on the other side of some really difficult, transformative work. And the, like you literally have to confront that your, your mind is saying, or somebody in your life is saying, you're not good enough. There's a real powerful force um, in your life, and it feels like another person. Um, it can be a person who's from the past or present, uh, but they've told you things that it's time to let go of those things, and they don't meet, have your best interests at heart. Um, you're, you're being held back, and um, there's really good stuff for you when you overcome this. But I really, I actually see you struggling with this, this energy here and having integrity when there's, these are kind of like a bunch of other people's willpower and they're just nibbling at your toes, right? So you, you wanna feel like this, this is you rising above all this crap. And that's the devil energy. That's the seven of voices energy, right? Like this foxy character with all the masks, just getting in your head. Um, don't worry about them. Justice will serve them. Okay, let, let's clarify the future. And I would say in this deck, I love this deck. I use it often, but I'm not crazy about the muse card, the kings, because I think... Um, but when I look at this, it, it replicates something that's coming through again and again and again, uh, which is there's a, a justice, there's a balance, there's a mirroring here. Um, as you can see, this person is drinking from their feelings. They're conscious of how they feel. Um, they're, in some way, this is being reflected through another kindred spirit here with justice Four of Wands and the Two of Cups. This is all soulmate, balance, mirroring energy throughout this reading. Um, it's kind of cool. I really feel your mutable bothness, Sagittarius. So let's see. What's this Muse of Emotions add here? Seven of Pentacles. Putting in the work. Waiting for everything that you've planted to bear fruit. It's a real hard worker here. I keep thinking about my nephew. He's a hard worker. He's a Sag. Page of Swords. Keep an open mind. Be open to new ideas. It's a very chatty, open Gemini kind of energy. Another mutable sign. And strength. Beautiful. This is the card that beats the devil. So remember we saw the devil here. This what's hidden from you. This tells me that the tarot says this is a big deal. You're you're really confronting the hardest thing ever. We see in the future that we have strength. This is the strongest card in the tarot. 
Again, the lion, that's that fire energy. It's Leo energy, but it's also fire. And you, Sag, that is your element. So this shows you in the future really working through some, um, doing some emotional work. That's what I think the muse of emotions tells us. So we can see that you've worked really hard, probably in your real life. Um, and you may be kind of stuck. A seven of pentacles, this card here, It's a, there can be some stuckness here. You know, just keep working and grinding and grinding and grinding. Um, then, then you're told, keep an open mind. There might be something else for you out there. Take that truth when it comes in. It might feel like, you know, just kind of like a fun truth. A page of swords is, it's not a difficult truth in any way. It's like, huh, I'm curious about that. So be open in your mind to that and then trust that you have the strength to go forward, to beat those disempowering thoughts and to be your best self. The strength card is about, and again, because you're, both an animal and a human. Strength is often a beautiful woman using love and um, emotional um, power to tame her lion, which is really her violence, right? So you, ha you have that power to tame the devil. Um, and it will come through, we can see that there's this wheel here that says change is coming and you are divinely supported. I see a lot of maturity in you on this table with all these kings or muses. But it doesn't look easy. So we see you um, really learning and transforming and rising to your highest self. That's why you have all these kings, because you, you've really learned the, this hard, this is a hard way. Um, you're not alone. And there are all these new beginnings, too, in, in this process. Uh, you have to go through struggle, pain, obsession, confusion. It's clear there's another person who's feeding those negative things. This sort of devil energy, the seven of voices energy. It's another person in your life. They make you feel like shit. <laughs> You're going to have the strength to leave them, right? And this reading is all about you need to address the person in your life that disempowers you and move on from them. You don't have to do anything to them. You don't even have to tell them why. You just say, I can't be in this anymore. I got to go. This is all about you got to go and you're not going to go alone. Um, but it's going to take integrity. It's going to take this kind of integrity. And you have it, right? Embrace who you are. You are this night of inspiration, Sagittarius. So I'm going to look one more thing, which is the bottom of this deck. There you are again, the Knight of Wands, another beautiful horse. There's the sun. There's a, that's the same card I just showed you, the Knight of Inspiration. Yep, be yourself. Trust. And um, I hope this reading helps you. And I hope I didn't say um too much. And I got rusty and I started umming. So thank you for listening. And um, I'll be back someday. I think I'm going to actually go ahead and do a, another reading for the collective. Just feeling curious and loving these cards. All right. Have a beautiful day. Happy birthday, Sag.